Hi folks, this is Steve. I'm gonna take you on a quick tour of 4860 M36 here in Highland, also known as Hamburg. Uh, this is a commercial building, 3,800 3, square feet um, of commercial space. The building is extremely clean, extremely well maintained. Parking lot has just been resurfaced. This sits on just over an acre, by the way, of commercial property. Uh, to the uh, west is the Livingston Family Center at 4736. This is M36 right here in front of me. Tremendous traffic on this road. And this way, we're looking uh, east. This is Cress Road right here, and then the Zuki Lake Tavern is right there, just about through those trees, you can see it. So a very high traffic area and a great commercial building. Anyway, let me tell you about it. walk around the outside of the building, and then I'll take you on the inside and tell you what we've got. Um, nice landscape package. This big tree is coming out to give you more exposure to the uh, uh, eastbound traffic. There is a storm drain in the front yard. Uh, front elevation has windows in it. These are the only windows in the building. However, you can put windows all the way down either side if you like. Parking blocks are all here. As I said, parking lot has just been repaved. It has, three, has a dimensional architectural shingle on it that's relatively new. There are no leaks in this roof whatsoever, and I think the building will pass an inspection just fine. This is all hardy siding on the uh, east side of the building uh, where they have their name. This is the Wolverine Paint Building. It's a Benjamin Moore store. The owner is closing the store. It is a very busy store, but the owner is retiring. Uh, so the building is available. The building and real estate is available. Uh, across the back of the property is wooded, and the rail line comes back here also. This back area, you could fe possibly fence this and use this for storage back here. It's a pretty good size area. I'd say it's approximately from the corner of the parking lot. You've got about 35 feet back to the property line. Then you go across the back about 150 feet or so, and then back towards the building another 75 or 80 feet, and then back this way. So you do have room if you wanted to fence in this rear yard with uh, township permission, of course. Anyway, let me see if I can get you a view of that roof. The roof is very nice. Uh, you really don't have to spend any money on this building to move right into it. I think once uh, the owner is out and you come through, all you're really going to do is paint and carpet and you'll be ready to go. Again, I said you could put windows in this. You could convert this to a professional office, medical, uh, a dance studio. Any kind of commercial use would be successful here. Very, very good traffic and a good community to do business in. Okay, let's go in the door. Uh, again, the building is 3,800 square feet total. Has an acoustical ceiling. There are three tiers of standard fluorescent eight-foot lighting. Um, the uh, building has a good HVAC system. The air conditioning and heat do work fine. Um, the front of the building is more or less at the window bank area where you're gonna get your uh, natural light. Um, that is well lit up there. I'll look down this other way towards the back right now for you just to give you an overall view and then we'll go through it in more detail. Uh, there are two customer counters in the building that will go with it. Uh, this first counter here on the left side, the east side of the building is right here. The owner can leave this. Also, there's a counter over here in the central towards the rear of the building. There's a cash register there that goes with the deal and this counter spot area right here. Then there's a third counter in the back. There's a kitchenette and a full bath. So I'm going to take you around the front and just give you a view and we'll walk down the other side to the back of the building. Uh, the ceiling line comes down. This ceiling is about 11 feet in overall height. With the acoustic ceiling there's a sound system in here and also the track lighting. Uh, so the front of the building is approximately 30 to 35 feet wide. Uh, there is a dinger there as you can tell that takes in when a customer comes in the door. And then here's your ceiling view again. The ceiling is again in good shape. Nothing you have to really do there. Uh, this shelving and racking and stuff is all negotiable. If you'd like to um, inquire about that, the owner will talk to you about buying that shelving. Paint's all going back or being sold to uh, other Benjamin Moore stores, I believe. Okay, here's your restroom area. It's very clean and nice. You got a sink, overmount sink, standard little vanity, a toilet, and a high ceiling and a fan in there. Uh, here's the countertop area. Some of this is a little hard to see because it is full of stock. Let me walk you around to show you this little kitchenette area right here. By the way, it's a slab on grade and this is industrial grade uh, carpet. And then up in front, you've got a vinyl floor uh, and then another back to carpet in the front. Um, here's your back counter right here. And then you have this little kitchenette area right here. It's just a small room, only about uh, 
about seven or eight feet wide by about 10 feet long. Hot water heater is right in here. You have a jumbo sink area, an under counter fridge, and a little cabinetry right there, just for snacks and stuff. So that's your little, little uh, kitchenette. Okay, go, we're gonna walk towards the back of the building now. There was, a, was an addition done. This building was built in 86. Very clean building all the way through. From here to my left, this addition takes on a higher bay. So under the acoustic ceiling, it does go up and back. I'll show you that. It also widens out. The building gets wider here to about, oh, I'd say that's about 45 feet wide in the back. Okay, so we're going into the warehouse. The warehouse right here has a concrete floor, has a side entry door, large steel entry door for your shipping and your freight right there. And then let me just show you here. It's hard to see because, we again, we have it full of shelving and stock. But it is a good area. The width of this rear storage area is about 20 feet wide by about 40 feet long and uh, has a higher ceiling. Here's your HVAC. This does work fine. They've had it regularly serviced. It's a carrier system and it heats and cools the building just fine. Uh, this is on, uh, this is on um, well with city sewer, I believe. Um, okay, well that's about the size of it. Um, any questions on this building, please feel free to give us a call uh, and we will get you a tour of it. Again, 3,800 square feet of commercial right on M36 in Lakeland and uh, priced absolutely right. I think it'll move very quickly. Very nice move-in ready building. Thanks so much. Hope that was helpful.